Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again today. So we're going to be tying up the tomatoes to continue the process of the vertical growing. The tomatoes are now pretty tall. Um, I'd say they're probably about two feet, two and a half feet tall. And they're ready to be staked up. Now I went through and collected a whole bunch of sticks from the pine trees that are just like laying on the ground. Um, normally, you, like if you want, you can go get bamboo from the hardware store or from the dollar store or anywhere like that. But I like to do things as cost efficient as possible. That's the point for me. So I like to do my fishing, hunting, foraging, and homesteading all at a very low cost. Um, and that way, it makes sense to me to continue to do this and living off the land. Um, so now I'm going to stick the tomatoes up. I have to sucker them after I do that, but I, at first you need to have your twine and a pair of scissors or garden shears. And I'll give myself a good amount of rope. You can see here, because when I tie these off, as I said in the planting video, you're going to want to make sure you give them enough space to grow into the tie, just because the stalk will still continue to grow and you don't want to cut it off. So let's tie them off now. I like to start about a foot up from the bottom of the plant. And I just want to trim the ends off. And that's the first one done. So if you see here, that's all I did. So if you see here, that's all I did. I just tied it off with the twine and just cut off your loose so it's not dangling. It just doesn't look pretty. And here we go. See, I given enough space between the stake and the actual tomato so that when the stalk grows, it can grow into this area and it's not going to strangle your tomato. We're going to go through and do all the tomatoes. I have 15 of them here I got to stake up. So, it's a lot of work, but again, I find when I vertical grow my tomatoes, I get the most production because they're not just in a big mess and the sunlight can hit all the fruit and some of the fruit isn't hidden underneath the bushes of tomatoes. So this is just how I found was the best method of growing for me. And I do this every year. As you can see, I've got lots of suckers in here. i got to come through and pick them all off. It's just almost weekly maintenance when it comes to the suckers because they're always going to be growing and always going to be there and, and it takes away from the production of the other uh, of the other fruit coming off of the main stem and i'd rather just have all my energy focused into those tomatoes than offshoots So the tomatoes have been all staked up now and they're tied off and suckered. So from here on out, you just gotta keep picking the suckers, uh, trim off the bottom leaves of the tomatoes and then keep tying them as they get taller. So as they keep growing, I'd say about every foot, tie it off in the middle and then you should be good. And keep doing that throughout the rest of the summer and you'd be amazed at the production of fruit that you get. It's just, it's crazy for me. I've, I've gotten probably the best tomatoes I've ever gotten since I've started vertical growing, but so try it for yourself. Let me know how it works for you. Comment below. And uh, yeah.